In this video, we are going to give an introduction to the concept of banking. First of all, let us understand the derivation of the term bank. The bank is an English term and according to some authorities, this term has been derived from either the Italian word banco or the Latin word bankus or the Greek word bank or the French word bank or even the German word bank. Now, the first four, all of these means bench. And in the early European period, the European bankers carried on the money lending business sitting on benches in a marketplace. And if the banker failed to meet his obligation, the bench on which he used to sit and carry on this money lending business was broken up by the people and he was taken as a bankrupt. That is why many authorities opine that the term bank has been derived from any of these four words. But some other people have the opinion that the term bank has been derived from the German word bank because it means common fund or joint stock fund. That is the fund raised from a large number of members of the public. So, according to these authorities, the word bank should be traced back to the German word bank. Now let us check out the definition of a bank or a banking company. According to Indian Banking Regulation Act 1949, banking company is any company which transacts the business of banking in India. And then coming to the definition of banking, according to Indian Banking Regulation Act 1949, Banking means accepting for the purpose of lending or investment of deposits of money from the public, repayable on demand or otherwise, and withdrawable by check, draft, order or otherwise. The essential characteristics of a bank is clearly given in this definition. The important feature of a bank is acceptance of deposits from the public on current fixed and savings bank accounts. What are they accepting these deposits for? It is done for the purpose of lending or investment. And what are they lending? Deposits of money from the public. Whatever they accept, that is what that they are lending. And this amount of the public is repayable on demand or otherwise. Whenever these people come and ask for their fund, the bank is bound to repay that amount to the customer. Another feature of bank is that it is allowing withdrawals of these deposits by checks, drafts, orders or otherwise. When all these functions are performed, only then an institution or a company can become a banking company or a bank. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, you can subscribe the channel.